Here's one that's a little bit different. You know, if we don't use the right words when we're talking about art, especially we teachers, um, we confuse people. This person says, I'm confused about the difference between luminosity and luminescence. Thought they were the same thing. But James Gurney's book, in James Gurney's book, he gives them different definitions. Can you help? We'll try to straighten that one out. Let's learn some lumen words. Uh, whenever we see the word lumen in any word, it refers to light. It comes from Latin, in case you want to have a conversation about lumen. Uh, but as we use it in art, luminosity is a broad term, or is used as a broad term, which can make it confusing. But when we say a painting has luminosity, we usually mean that it has light within, that it's emitting or it has a glow within, that it has the illusion that the light is actually coming out of the picture. Now, we know that Rembrandt's paintings are often uh, referred to as uh, being luminous or having luminosity. And so here's an example of uh, one of Rembrandt's portraits that where we can see that, we can actually feel that the light is glowing from within the painting. In fact, when I was in school, we were told that every painting ought to have a light of its own. That every painting ought to uh, have a light or feel that it's having a light from within. Monet's paintings often are referred to as having luminosity or being luminous because they are dealing with light. And we can often feel the light coming from the painting. Richard Schmidt's work also well, even though in this particular painting it feels like it's in low light, we feel the light from the background coming out of the painting towards us. So that word can be used very broadly when we're talking about paintings. If a painting is luminous or if it has luminosity, simply look for its light. What's its light doing? Is it light? Is light coming from the painting itself? But then when we go to the word luminism, we get into something totally different because that's an or defines an art movement. An art movement where artists were intentionally dealing with light and intentionally trying to create the kind of vibration in their paintings that we that we can see uh, when the light, especially the low light, when there are many, many colors together that are causing the whole thing to feel luminous. Now we may say well, there is a difference there between luminism and luminosity. Well, all luminists created luminosity in their paintings. So you might say a painting can have luminosity but not be a part of the luminism movement. So we can see in the church painting here as far as its luminism, what's causing the luminism this way uh, in this painting is the way the color is used that creates that that kind of shimmer uh, that we feel in the light, especially in the skies, and the kind of light that can reflect on the skies uh, when we see a sunset or a sunrise or something. Uh, it's affecting the color of the sky. See it a little bit more subtly here, uh, how the colors, the way the colors are gradating from the sun uh, through those pinks into the blues of the sky and also gradating from the sun, uh, well you might say through oranges and then to pinks and then to purples and so on like that. It's the way color is used to create that kind of vibrance that we often see in the sky. So but that is a movement of artists. It was a very short-lived movement and today some people still enjoy painting in that luminism mode uh, where you are actually working with the way colors are used side by side to create a kind of a visual uh, vibration or vibrance in the painting that makes it feel like it's shimmering. Luminescence is something totally different and that's why this person is confused, I'm sure. The word luminescence, as Gurney uses it and as, as we normally would use it, is the opposite of incandescent. The luminescence, luminescence is referring to 
the ability of the object to emit cool light. Now you see how that can get confusing. Uh, it, 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 something have luminescence or does it have luminosity? But you can see the words are so similar there and yet they communicate, communicate totally different things. You see here an example I mean, you can often see this in uh, photographs of things that are underwater, but we can see it in other things too, where the light that's being emitted is cooler. And it's used as a, a kind of an opposite of incandescent, where the light that's being emitted is warmer. And so when you're doing paintings, how does it apply to your painting? Well, when you're doing paintings, if you want to show luminescence, then you want to show your light in a, as a cool light. It's being emitted as uh, the images in the light or the light source or the images that are reflecting light are more cool. Even though they might be admitting the light, they might it be emitting cool light maybe into a warmer environment. But if you're showing more of a warmer light being emitted from the light, it's more incandescent. So they, you notice that all those words begin exactly alike, lumen, lumen. But sometimes in the art, in the field of art, um, we fail to see distinctions between words that may be, have very much similar spelling and be built on the same maybe Latin derivation, but they have totally different meanings. So in this case, I thought it was worth a quick tip. Be sure to view all of our quick tips. While you're doing so, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell, so you'll always get a notice when we produce a new quick tip, which is every week. And if you have a question, leave it in the comments section, and we'll make a quick tip for you. Also, take a trip over to dynamize.com, where I have full-length lessons, downloads, DVDs, lots of other stuff there, some free stuff for you. And while you're there, you can subscribe to the newsletter, and that way you'll always be informed every time we do something new.